Hi guys, uh, back again with me Ofu. This video we will be uh, the continuance of the previous video. Um, I will call this the part two about the uh, Heinrich and the uh, Heinrich review and then the twenty seventh November purchase uh, review. Uh, so without further ado, let's begin. So after the after the last video after the patches, uh, we try uh, to build the Henrich with the, all the runes and then the the cards needed and then the weapon etc. And then um, we tested a lot with the high level a uh, high rank account, uh, especially the support account and testing the damage. And then finally we try to make it on MP. Um, the result is a bit quite underwhelming. Um, at the moment, I'm not recommending you guys to play Hendrix in the high rank MP uh, for the several reasons that uh, we will discuss uh, first. So the first and biggest reasons is actually uh, the damage. Uh, if, uh, the Hendrix part, um, first, I, we thought that the damage will come from the AA, uh, the auto attack, because as you know that the auto attack is kindly like... Um, um, the special one because as you know that the auto attack is replaced by this I mean like um, the, you cannot auto attack normally or when you whenever you auto attack you will do like four sequence of skill four sequence of skills like um, uh, like like Thanatos and then you gradually increasing the, the stack but the problem with this is uh, even though like we already uh, bring a lot of um, auto attack damage uh, and then balance the skill damage and the crit damage the damage is still a bit subpar as you know that this one you see it's only like 100k 800k so, sorry let's do a full buff okay. and then we switch to weapon see, only like 200k 400k 200k 400k and that's not good this is the my setting medium demi human with 100 percent and normal, normal three so yeah that's that's about the things i mean like it not it's not really good at the moment and then the the second but the biggest part is actually as you know that hendrich biggest damage is come from the the skill the fire fire strike skill uh let's see so first again we buff make it full and then switch the weapon and then put the two debuff like this then hit bump it's uh six million six million to here uh usually um convert uh usually it becomes around um, three to four million to the very tanky beholder and then even though like it's sometimes it's good like it's four million and then comes the it doesn't it's not enough to solo kill any sane we specifically targeting sane because as you know that the current the current biggest uh, dps is your moon your moon can solo any sane under two seconds so if you want to be helping your moon or you want to strip by uh, change into the pd you really need to be able to um, pick off any of your opponent especially saint or a roamer and then uh, usually the roamer inside the mp is uh, the hp is around five to six million and then um it comes the harder and, and then comes the third um the the third reasons why it's the hardest part uh, it's it's not um I don't really recommend to play Henry. It's actually it's the SP block. Uh, first, like as you know that um, in my opinion, whenever you want to play Henry in this meta, the one that you replace is actually PD because you cannot replace Thanatos with Henry because um, Henry is very squishy. You cannot be um, a tanky frontliner. You cannot make a chaos because you the the gameplay is like you go in and out, in and out, in and out. While well, Thanatos is like being in the front as much as possible, being annoyance and then sleeping people debuffing uh, cc and then um, you have parry and so on and so forth well uh, your moon your moon is you have a, a constant a constant stream of damage because he's an auto attack and henry is not because henry is like it's a shura it's like exactly like a shura and then exactly like a shura and the the biggest problem also the same which is sp block so if the if if you're changing from if you changing from a pd to sp block means the enemy will not use any anti-strip anymore they will switch to sp block means you cannot even take down the your moon 
because like if they use sp block then you're gonna be stupid that's the things because the skill the fire strike is actually blocked by sp block even though you already used the the both of this and that's the things the sp block is uh, really annoying and then the another the fourth reason is actually this one the the breaking down the breaking down is very op debuff because it's it's not only um it's not only be available to you i mean the 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 it rendering all the reflection block dots and immunity that means that uh, they cannot uh, even though they use a uh, reflex like high orc or a uh, dead maya or even the maya star uh, the reflect is like negated block block is a parry so you can actually you can kill the valkyrie really easy but the problem is the Valkyrie have the Divine Wing armor whenever it has like mini HP block every 20%. Per, uh, if the damage uh, uh, being more than 20% and he got a weather, uh, you're gonna only receive maximum 20%. And that kind of part is not negated by this breaking down. So it's a bit underwhelming. Because the effect is like you don't need hit to actually hit because like uh, it's like you are using the banana boot. But the biggest problem is the skill can be dispelled and then the the most annoying part is like this one the will of survive the will of survive is like can clear one on one on debuff every eight second and because of the and because of the hendrich playstyle is in and out in and out usually you need to pick someone that not open it by your thanatos so and the other part also like because there is no cm the debuff is very little now so uh, what usually happen is whenever you cast um, either you cast this or you cast and then you follow it by this one of the debuff gonna be gone so what i realize is like in the game it's really hard to you to do the combo like uh, you go from you go from outside you cast this one debuff two debuff and then you go there but it's really hard because like in between of these three skill he will get the usually it will trigger the um usually it will trigger the um will of survive so one of your debuff gonna be gone so usually what 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 we do is like use this and then wait until the debuff uh, gone and then you cast this again and cast this again or or you can cast this cast this and then with the debuff whichever gone you cast this again so like it's very time consuming like as you know that it's already like three seconds already and then come the fifth part which is um the the range of the air strike fire strike is very very small as you know that i need to come here actually very very small means that it's actually at the at, at some point it's really hard especially like you're against a uh, Valkyrie that um, using the um, you're using the spirit summoning. That's why, like, whenever I'm building this, I need to make sure my hit is big. Like, for example, this one I try to set my flea. Sorry, my flea. I set my flea to 633, and then if I found a very um very high hit um valkyrie then i need to use this oh, where this one i need to use this and increase my fleet to 600 no 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 should be higher yeah i mean like you you, you i mean like you you know what what i mean right like i need to i need to raise my fleet to or let's see this one 799 i need to use dagger and then I need to raise my fleet around to 900 or 1000, more or less. So it's not really, um, it's not really good to be honest. And then, and then I read the CBT patch note for the, for, for the, for the last week CBT patch note. So here we go. This is the CBT patch note. Um, I will, I will I will put it the link in the description later on. So what what I really want to say is like even though even the devs him theirself already know that the Hendrix is not really good. So that's why they put the some of the buff here. The first one first and foremost like the one that I told you like 
the distance of the fire truck is really really small is two meters two meters basically like you need to stand beside the enemy so if it's a four meters it's like it's still doable because like you can go um you can go from here uh, you can go from away and then you run and then around here you can do the air strike fire strike something like that so it's quite good the second one is this the effect of the star is changed changed from the eight point of the damage uh the eight point of the fit in case the damage by one percent to six point of fit in case by damage one percent so basically like this is increasing the damage uh, the skill damage by 20 percent around around 20 uh, percent someone already make the uh the calculation on the discord you can go to the official discords and go to the henrich um henrich channel uh this is uh, the damage will be night uh right around 20 percent and this is for pve which is i don't um really care the, this is uh quite uh, quite good also while it increasing uh now you the the pure blood pure blood run can be changed to provide the full attribute tech but the things about henrich is actually the biggest damage come from the neutral because of this rune this one uh because of this rune wait i need to find my rune box hey where is my rune box uh because of this rune the unyielding giving you this one the uh, oh this one uh for now because it's only neutral damage increase um the the thing is like you only getting increasing 20 percent uh up to 30 percent neutral damage but now with this it increasing the full prof uh, profit the full attribute attack means that your damage is actually you can switching between the fire uh water and then but i don't know like whether it will be increased the holy and the dark as well so it's quite nice because it's like it it provide boost like for example we tested that actually uh, the fire build or or the water build when where you using the fire uh, firing or the watering is a it's a be almost better whenever i don't use the unyielding so if this changing from the neutral to the full attribute it could be nice and then the the new weapon uh, the the weapon which is the sword and the blade the swords and the dagger will be um have a new um a new a new buff which is the basic attack damage by five percent that's more or less like that and so about the gameplay um actually what i really like is um um at some point dagger is actually better than a sword swords giving you better damage around 20 percent where uh, from what we tested but uh, what i like about the dagger is like the maneuverability so like for example if you want to use the swords you need to uh, from far away you pfe and then and then i switch to sword and i switch to swords and then do this bam bam and then this but the problem with this is after this you need to get out first and then you switch to dagger and then you make full and then you heal and then you need to do this again and then switch to swords and then you get it again so like the sequence of the skill is it's too much for for a swords base but the biggest things about swords base is first is the damage and the second one is the glimpse where um uh, the swords give you um glimpse duration plus four seconds so but if you used to the glimpse duration is four seconds so like around you will get around um that second of glimpse but that can be like you can do it um in the other way like for example if you are using the dagger as a main as a main weapon even though like you are um even though you are having less damage but you have more maneuverability like for example like this if you are using dagger so uh in the far very far away you cast glimpse and then you switch to dagger you go this and then um you do the do to debuff and then you hit bump and then you go back you heal and then you can you can run go back again and then you cast this cast this switch to glimpse and then hit again go back heal yeah that's 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 the sequence of playing um that's the sequence of playing dagger like you are being actually faster 
Red, uh, then you are using the swords. But again, the the biggest problem is SP block and the damage. Like if you are hitting the people that not using the uh, SP block, you still get a problem. Like uh, the the will of survive, and then you still get a problem of the um of the of the um the damage is like not actually not enough to one hit. That's 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 the kind of things. Okay, yeah, that's about the Henrich. If you got any questions or anything about Henrich, just please uh, write it on the comments. And then um, we will move to the um, the other part of the discussion, which is the 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 patches for the the patches in the twenty seventh of um, November. So this is the patch. Okay, the patch itself is on from the um from the from the uh official forum so uh there is uh the first one is the sage or the cm the cm is really good because actually not this this um this field of rune is really really op it's like you are having um you give your you give your friends um, a free LOV. LOV is like the this one, the the relic something. Like this one. Let's see the the relics. LOV is this one. <clears throat> so what does the LOV give? It's the giving the elemental counter coefficient of plus fifteen percent, which is exactly the same like this, right? <clears throat> same exactly the same so um the element uh, so the cm is now like providing you a free lov for your friends which means that not only um what i know that the lov is not only um works on the offense offense means like whenever you're attacking but it also works when you are defending so like um if for example you are using water and then the enemy using the wind Usually you get two hundred percent damage, right? But now um, with with it, but whenever you use the LOV, LOV, you will get fifteen less percent damage. So I don't really know the calculation, but you do really get a elemental reduction. That's the thing. So this is quite nice, and then the this one is also good uh, for a for a bolter CM. But at the moment, bolter CM cannot be playing against your god because. <laughs> The problem is, um, first, you really cannot hit the Jormungat whenever he's in the snake form because of the um, because of this weapon, Tire Five. Whenever he he being a snake form, he is immune to magic, so it's a bit stupid. And the second part is still the Bolter. I already tested; it's very really hard again to uh, to solo any support, even though with this part. So that's the things, but this is very good for PVE. I mean, like if you watch any YouTube video about the buff on the CM for the PVE, it's this this one. Like for example, like there is a CM that can can solo the Ponape and something like that. And this is also good, but the thing is like um, it's only for a Boulder CM, so it doesn't really um, get a very good effect in the PVP. Same. So this three is doesn't, but this one is a buff. But is it a game changing? I don't really think so. So the other part is a ninja. Um, a lot of a lot of ninja. Um, a lot of ninja is a uh, ninja skill is being buffed. The first one is this one. This is actually a very big buff because um, before whenever I'm playing ninja, like you need to you need to um think about the skill rotation, especially the ninjutsu all around attack because usually. Actually, ninjutsu all around attack is very good because, um, as you know, that this ninja all around attack. I will show you a bit. I'll show you a bit here. Hmm. Okay, I need to switch. Ninja all around attack. Is 
this one. So our run attack actually the best is actually for the uh, the first one is for the damage, but if you get a two star of this, the second one is actually really crazy because it's increasing the uh, the specific ninjutsu by 10 to 50 percent. Like for example, if you have 50 percent, means that you need to open your um your battle with this is actually because like it's increasing the damage whenever every time you are doing uh, offensive skill to the enemy. But the problem with the previous part is if you open with this, you will lose your um, you will you will lose your aura, and then that's not good because um, the aura actually giving you uh, more damage. Like for example, if you are using the fire one, you get a more aim attack or something like that. <clears throat> so this is huge because you can just like um, and especially the hollow. Um, holo is like, for example, back then whenever there is a ninja patch, um, there is a, uh, there is also the the gunslinger there. Uh, one of the things why people not using the holo is because it consume aura. But the thing is like, if you if back then we can spam holo without consuming aura, it's really good to disable a gunslinger because you just holo the gunslinger and the gunslinger cannot do the reno fire because reno fire is um. It's a force fire so if you use hollow in the in the fire aura and then you the enemy cannot use the reno fire but yeah that's how it thinks then this is actually uh, quite nice uh, whenever you use a trunk for restoration it increasing the chance for your next quick escape for 100 but it's not that big because the trunk for restoration is like the the cast is actually very long I will show you a bit here. So let's do the tranquil restoration. Here. See. It's like two or three seconds, so it's not worth at all because even though like after the full tranquil restoration you will get um a lot of HP and SP, but still like slowing you down. <clears throat> and then uh this is this is for a survivability survivability scale where uh, whenever like it uh if each for each uh, thousand of shadow you will get a reduced damage by 20% or something so like for example here you summon uh you summon a clone usually you can get two if you using the rune so so at Every time you summon a clone and the clone is uh, survive, you will get a 40% damage reduction. But since ninja is very squishy anyway, it not really doesn't doesn't really matter. But and then this part is um, actually this this is the craziest part um, where the casting distance will be uh, 15 meters. Like for example here, if I use normally i use the wind soul the range is like this but if i have the hazy let's put it uh what's the name okay there is a skills actually in here named the endure method and star shift whenever um you will um increasing the casting distance by 15 meters so actually like as i show you before um the range if for example if i'm hitting this the furthest away i try to use this <clears throat> here the range is like something like this but if i cast this <laughs> the range is very ridiculous because the range is actually um can be and this is seven meters right and then i cast this it become 23 meters <laughs> it's very stupid like it's 20 23 meters casting range is, is is very crazy you know like for example let's try a bit far away let's set try it from oh yeah. try this and then you can even cast it from here <laughs> it's very stupid see it's even like the whole across the map so yeah that's that's the thing it's, it's very crazy though but um the biggest problem with the ninja ninja magic 
uh, the, the other is like the 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 other is the physical magic which is still shit to be honest but like for for India magic it's really good um you can play very outside and then you spam this and then you can cast spam this something like that oh wait wait it doesn't cast ah here you can cast from far away let's see this you can cast from far away but the problem with the ninja is actually the damage uh the first again the your moon your moon is the pinnacle of the magic classes you cannot kill the enemy your moon with ninja because like again he's immune to magic and then not really useful plus um, ninja need to play with pd because what usually people do is like um pd stripping someone especially stripping the armor so it remove away the dokebi and then the ninja just use this usually that's how they kill um which is a good one especially like the the uh the absurd range of this which is a 23 meters but the problem with ninja is first is um again it cannot kill your moon the second one it cannot uh, it also get reflected which is quite hard if the enemy reflect you non-stop and then the the other part is the ninja damage is not as high as a your moon the ninja burst come from this dragon but the dragon itself is still like not a bit underwhelming like for example see the damage like one one two million one two million per and then every second is only one tick and then you in the casting range itself like i, I already show you right the casting range is not it's not that far if you wanna do the fire dragon plus the fire dragon is like uh first the fire fire dragon itself is um it's like the static aoe like for example if and then the 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 animations takes like one or two seconds to hit so it doesn't really good to be honest so yeah ninja still as long as there is a jormun there not really good to be honest then come to sb the sb the craziest part is actually this the soul of ninja so why this uh, the soul of ninja now can target yourself whenever no teammates are selected so why does um, why does this sb why does this buff is actually very matter is actually a very big buff to sp uh first thing first is um many uh, uh many sp play as if you are a sp player for sure you know that um having the having the the dark illusion star card in your in your headgear is a must because here i don't use it so why why this is a must because a lot of a lot of uh, sb skills is having a force force uh, force cast time like for example in the heart of darkness you cast and then what else uh, the one that casted uh oh here the one that casted is the heart lock if i'm not if i'm not mistaken see hard lock have a fixed cast time or of the point nine then with third curse is a it's a fixed cast time as well uh there is well, yeah there's some some of it the other one i don't think that is soul is not yeah so these three the heart of darkness hard lock and then the <clears throat> the the wither curse uh the biggest problem is really the heart of darkness because it's very stable very step well um very step well uh skill for the current meta as you know that a hard lock is um making the enemy casting the aoe damage to himself like so it's really works against thanatos and the and the your moon especially your moon heart of darkness is one of the very few skills that uh, your moon can be reflected is actually not reflected but the your moon hit himself so um if you see the enemy your moon being a snake form you just cast this and then you will see him killing himself if he not having a fate prey so this is a very staple but the things about it that like it has a cast time so the craziest part about the soul of ninja is uh soul of ninja is removing your fixed cast time mm, where is it ah uh, this one it's um it's reducing the fixed custom by 100 so like uh, i already show you like the uh, the heart of darkness uh, is um 
It's casting now. If I cast the Soul of Ninja to myself, it become instant. Oh, even the Soul of Ninja itself is the having a cast time. Yeah. So yeah, I mean like this is very big, and the, the second part is before. The only way for you to fix the soul, like for example, you get the enemy, uh, you get the red soul from the enemy soul binder, and then the only way you you remove it is by using the soul of sage, right? That's that's how you roll. But now you have two ways to remove it. First is soul of sage, and second is uh, soul of ninja. So yeah, um, that's that's a really big buff, especially for a for a SP player. They really love it. Uh, my my teammate SP also like really like this update so yeah this is very big buff then the SK cooldown has been reduced to 1.5 seconds is also good because um this what is SK this one <clears throat> but the thing is um it's not really good uh, it's good but it's only for a magic uh for a magic offensive type of a soul binder so for a support or roamer it doesn't really do much things <coughs> sort of things and then the next one is rm rm is good but still it won't make it replacing the the thanatos which is pretty pretty bad actually because again the well even though i know the thanatos get a problem with the life shield and the kairi but Thanatos have a means to remove it. Uh, you can remove the the light shield with the second with the second phase, and then you can remove Kairi just by sleeping them. But for RM, there is no way you can remove a a Kairi and the safety wall. So still, it's still not like solving the problem at the moment. As an as a for. SH, there's a really big buff. One of the things is like the, now the dark matter trap. If the dark matter trap is clear, there is a chance that the clearer will be fall into the black hole. Actually, this one is I might say it's very good against your moon because for sure your moon can remove your dark matter trap and then uh, making making your uh, making it to his own domain, the serpent domain. But if if he keep doing that there's a chance that he will fall into the black hole for two seconds you need to test it but yeah and you get what i mean but uh for the hunt for the stellar hunter to be able into fit uh, to be able to play in this meta you need to remove the your moon first <laughs> because uh the the sh placing is like it's on the your moon side because you need the fate prey and and one of bad thing about about SH now before there is a possibility you have an an you have an unlimited fate prey from your sin because of the combat provision but now it's not it's impossible to have the unlimited fate prey so I don't really think uh, SH is still a meta especially because um the the range the range is actually your moon same like both of them got nine meters so and and for sure the sh um it's quite hard to one hit the your moon but your moon can very easy to one hit the sh that's what i'm that's what i'm thinking but there's a lot of buff for sh i might try it one uh for one or two time and then this is a buff for a priest, which is quite nice, especially for the butter area where um, where uh, it reduced the cooldown from 42 to, to, to 34 seconds, which is good, but this is a PvE. And then comes for the biggest buff for me in here, which is the DA rune. So uh, what about this? So let me give you an example. Okay, uh, now... We try to test it on the MP about uh, we are facing both the Rat Gritchi and the and the DA. So I want to show you what is different. But first of all, um, just want to make sure that I set the the equip roughly the same. It's gonna be a bit different. Like for example, the DA weapon is only plus eight because I don't have time to refine it at the moment. But most of the cards and the equip is the same. As you see that I use the your moon full counter equip like this the bit different is on the osiris i switch this with the spirit summoner but the rest is same oh wait i 
change the face as well uh, for the face we are using the plus 15 one okay so what I'm gonna do is um, I will not use any buff both uh, for both of them but the only things about the A is oh, I only put auto guard on the auto that's all because um, so and, and then we see how the how about the survivability is and then and then for my your uh, the DA will be on the right I put this into the egg and then the Okay, it will be on the left. And I put defending armor here. Okay. So uh, first, both of them, I will just use the PFE and then the... Is this the... Yes. Okay. This is the... This is the... Okay. Let's see if we are using the damage on this too. Okay. First, we just try to uh, hit the DA first. Uh, seven moment, PFE, and then boom. And then boom. See? It took, it took very long time to kill the DA. The image is like, sometimes it can be 200, can be it, uh, 18 percent, so yeah. Uh, the that's that's the DA. Now let's test uh, for the Valkyrie. We said oh the Valkyrie still have the pet. We remove the pet. Then test this. We It's it's actually faster to kill the Valkyrie. Yeah, that's about it, more or less. The parry is actually the parry race is is is, is the same, but yeah, you know that uh, you know that the different set. Oh, uh, for the oh yeah shit. I forget to turn on auto for the auto guard. Okay. Let's try hit again one more time for against the DA. PFE. And then second moment. And that's it. Yeah, that's that's a, a bit different. I mean, like um, what I want to what I what I want to show you is um, actually DA and Valkyrie now a bit uh, the the tankiness is more or less the same, but the biggest difference between DA and Valkyrie is DA can heal by himself is quite easily because he get the battle chance, he get the um, he get the holy ground something here. Uh, the skill in here. So, sorry, the skills in here. The this one, the holy ground. Whenever it will uh, heals you for for this kind of things. So, um, now what I'm thinking of is actually DA and both of DA. Uh, DA actually can replace Valkyrie at some point because. But the thing is like, there's the, uh, we now have a flexibility between choosing a DA and Valkyrie. The thing is, if we choose Valkyrie, Valkyrie is really good uh, with the with killing the other support with the using the Flame of Pride and then the Spirit of Summoning and then the Blade of Order, even. Even especially if like if you have a high end Valkyrie where you have you can push a bit of damage uh, and and doing the some kind like of the hybrid between the tankiness and the damage, you actually can kill the the enemy DPS quite easy. Like for example, at one point I can kill like seven or eight times using the hybrid between tanky and the dps so that's about the valkyrie but about the da is the best thing is like if you're not having the ball and then you can do the sacrifice build especially for the map three the damage is not that high but it's enough to like controlling the enemy the damage is actually high if like you are hitting 
um a cm or something or or a roamer but if you like if you are hitting the um the your moon is quite hard because actually at some point the your moon will just steal your sacrifice sacri so it's not that good but yeah i mean uh, but for against the thanatos da is better than the valkyrie because da have a very huge reflex using the reflex skill a uh, reflex reflex shield and the thanatos can kill himself quite fast so yeah um there's a uh, two options that you can choose between the Valkyrie or the or you can choose both but um you will have very have a big you have a very strong two bow holders but the thing is like then you you sacrifice one of the roamer so because the same will be a turbo holder the same will be um your roamer and then you only have one slot for the roamer yeah so that's the things about the da yeah um hopefully um this one can like um okay as a bonus video before i told you like um the da before is not having a full buff no now let's see if like the da is having a full buff so let's see i pfv first and then i do this and the counter attack hello and then i become snake and hitting the DA. boom <laughs> See, it's it barely removing the HP, and then it took a lot of a lot of things, and then I can just be happy again. See, that's how that's how the DA works. That's why um, that's why I told you like before the biggest uh, buff in this patch is actually the DA. So yeah, hopefully with this video, um, you guys can try more about um. Putting DA uh, as your uh, main ball holder or even as a second ball holder, and we can change a meta a bit, especially to remove the uh, to um, make some um, colors for the meta. So it's not all about the Valkyrie now. DA is on on the process anyway. Okay, I think that's all uh, for this video. I I really hope that you get what I mean because uh, even though like the video is a bit like. Uh, left and right and going all over the places but i hope that you understand what i know so uh that's it for today um thank you for watching if you got any comment please do uh if you got any questions or if i say something wrong please please do uh write on the comment i will try my best to reply so yeah that's it for today uh thank you for watching and see you in the next video Bye bye